the teacher candidates are thinking about their careers and making hard choices. Some are concentrating on their courses, while others are trying to distinguish themselves from the crowd in other ways. I'm all of my lectures, so I'm going to four hours of street lectures today and attending some of the IS sessions so that I can have my afternoon free to work on some assignments. Basically what I've been trying to do is wake up at about five or six in the morning. It's a battle against time. There's never enough time to put in as much care or as much, as much, I don't know, to put in as much care in the work that I want. So I'm pushing through. Um, and then at night time, what I've been trying to do is go for an hour or two just to the library and study. I study on my own. And then once or twice a week, I've been trying to get a girl that lives just down the road from me to go to the gym with me. So I have no excuse to say why I can't go. I'm working as fast as I can, but constantly I have to remind myself and go and do social things and just have fun because what's the point? I'm starting to get <coughs> stressed. Um, this week has been crazy uh, school-wise. I've had about 10, I think it was, I counted, it was 10 assignments I, I, or things I needed to do um, for this week, be it an online quiz or I have a presentation in math that I'm doing tomorrow. This week there's um, in production class we're doing directing scenes so I have to have lines memorized for um, class. It's stressful just because I have to manage my time so effective, so well. Um, I really don't have any room to slack. This time of year now, it's February, I'm exhausted. Yeah, the workload is just piling on. And just when I think that I've checked something off, something else is coming up. I didn't realize how much work it was going to be. It's at the same time, I've learned how organized I can be. I'm not sure if I want to be in a classroom. That's the, that's the bottom line. I think this program has taught me that there's a lot of responsibility and a lot of legwork that must go into becoming and maintaining yourself as a classroom teacher. I think I would work much better as a resource teacher or even someone who works outside of the education system. Well, I'm really worried about getting a job in teaching. Even if I don't get a teaching job, my teaching education will be very valuable to me. I was, I was looking at houses with my fiancé the other week for fun, and I, I came out and I realized, you know what? I've always loved houses and looking at houses and, and everything, like real estate. That's also my plan B. Like I, if I didn't get a teacher's college, I was going to try to do something in sales. Your, uh, your feeling about it is that it's not going to be a profession for you. It's not going to be a career in you. Or like a lifelong career. Right. But I would love to have a lifelong involvement in education. I plan on having a job in September. <laughs> I do. In Ting is the announcer for the University Women's Hockey Team. Uh, I started off in about 2010. And after the first game, I screwed up so badly. I, I just didn't want to do it anymore. And 80 games later, I'm here today uh, doing announcing for this women's hockey game. And I just feel like I'm in such a privileged position um, doing the announcing for the women's team. Such a privilege to see them grow from being absolutely terrible and just progressing onward and being great now. It's really fun to watch. Uh, sometimes they get really emotional. Uh, trying to spur them on from the stands. Uh, but I always have to remember to keep the microphone off until I actually have to save something. Ladies and gentlemen, then regain my composure and say what needs to be said and continue cheering them on. Um, but I really like what I do. And um, I have thought of it as a job. I've also thought about teaching as a job. There's a lot of things, but this is definitely something I wouldn't mind. Doing. Catherine has had a problem. My daughter, who is almost three, um, developed a fever. Today's, what's today? Tuesday. So last Friday, she went to her grandparents and spent the night. And at uh, about two o'clock in the morning, she developed a fever and it lasted for four days. They told us it was scarlet fever. You know, it's just one of those things you're here and 
things are really busy, but you have to take the day, and and uh, so we got to spend some nice time together. But it was scary. It was scary. My daughter's name is Anastasia, and my husband's name is Sean. They're still in Malaysia right now, but every day it's kind of like a struggle. So. I guess as a student, all you can think of is the end goal. It's going to help her. It's going to help any other children I think I'll have. So that's how I guess I take a look at it. I'm also planning my wedding, which is happening June 1st of this year. Um, so it's getting really hectic. I'm doing a lot of planning from far away because I'm getting married back in my hometown. For this week, I have two rehearsals for the school play that I'm in. Uh, every year, the faculty does a student production. I auditioned for a role. Uh, one of my classmates kind of irked me on, so I was like, ah, why not? So I tried out. I got a part. Catch, and one is a carol. You alarm me! Give me a ham sandwich. Another sandwich. part-time as well. I serve at a restaurant uh, not too far from where I'm staying. Uh, I'm also on student council and the chair of the charity committee here and I have an event at the end of February. I'm running and I'm in the process of recruiting people for a team um, to do this event so that's that's also I'm doing that on the side of everything else along with the classwork. Along with Apart from school and everything now on Wednesday nights I'm taking part in another research project on how to help teachers. Thank you very much for coming to my talk. Um, my main focus today right now is that a lot of teachers, they want to teach better, but they don't have the tools or they don't know what kind of criteria they'll look for when they are teaching. The objectives I have for today's, class, uh, for today's session, it'll be about an hour long session, is that you'll end up having a clear idea of what makes an effective teacher. We'll do an activity and Hopefully at the end of the session you'll understand what rice is and I've created an old model for myself which I call price and we'll finish off with a reflection. So I'm hoping that will help. It started last week, it's about an hour and a half and it's going to go on for about five weeks. And then on th this Friday I'm going to be traveling about maybe two, three hours to another city because they're doing a technology showcase that's going to be sponsored by and the smart board on how to use technology incorporate it within your own classrooms and then on Saturday and Sunday I'm going to another course <laughs> it's called tribes and what it is is it's helping teachers and giving teachers the tools to build inclusive and engaging classrooms so that more students within the classroom settings can feel engaged, can feel powerful, and want to really be the best they can be. But with my master's program that I'm working on, it's the course on materials development and design for ESL learners. Hopefully, I'm hoping to be able to write my own course book one of these days. Um, with one of the professors, the math professor, I've been helping a little bit with some of his research and creating, um, he's working on math and the stereotypes of what a mathematician is and does. He's trying to, you know, change, change what that stereotype is. And the other thing I'm really involved in right now is organizing events for the young people of my church. Um, last week I organized a bowling event and this coming weekend there's a, a weekend retreat in I'm in charge of the food, so I've got to make a menu, buy food, and, and right now I'm just organizing carpooling and making sure everyone has a ride. I've just discovered this amazing athletic complex right across the street from us, and because of we, because we paid tuition, um, it's everything's free. So I've just just now started going um, all these drop-in classes. They're really really good, and swimming pool's beautiful, and so I'm going to go there right now. Um, in my life, the, a big part of that right now would be production. Um, I'm head of makeup design, and um, I'm also acting in in the, in the show.
So I'm continually getting more lines and so um, and scene changes and I'm also trying to assemble a crew for makeup, um, quick changes and that sort of thing. It's a very makeup heavy play and there's a lot of facial prosthetics that I have to create and all that sort of thing. Um, so I also recently had a publication. Um, it was published in uh, the UK journal at the Oxford, Oxford University. Um, so that's exciting. Um, I just designed the various costumes. For example, there's a 1920s Alice costume that I designed. There is a um, present day Alice costume that I designed. So they're really fun to do. Um, they're really easy to do. And I like the idea of um, hearing someone's insight and what they want a costume to be to be like and then putting that on paper which translates later on to fabric. The play takes a lot of time because it's kind of like if I had a pager I would be called constantly to be making things but um, every week I volunteer at the library. It's called the READ program, the Reading Enjoyment and Development program. So it's focused on promoting literacy. I work one-on-one -on -one with a student after school or at, during weekends. I volunteer for the SVHR, so that's the, the Students for Palestinian Human Rights organization, and I work on um, just making sure that I'm caught up on news and media related to Palestinian Israeli issues, um, international issues, and disseminating that information. Um, I, I'm an avid member of the Muslim community, so Whenever there's a charity drive or any learning event at my local local mosque or university MSA, so that's Muslim Student Association, I'm there. I, I enjoy being involved. John's focus remains strongly on achieving academic success. All I know is that I'm inundated with numerous assignments. Um, would I be any different than anyone else? I, I don't know. I do feel overwhelmed every day. Um, given the fact that uh, my worst fear would be to miss something because it's been overlooked um, or I didn't get the assignment. Uh, currently as we speak, um, I attended a lecture last week. Uh, at the end of the lecture, you're required to give the answers to two questions. I gave those answers and stuck there to talk to the uh, lecture leader uh, to discuss how he would like the question answered. Uh, he wasn't available. I couldn't find them. I waited. I finally dropped the answers in the box and I discovered that I didn't get a mark for that day. That's the type of thing I worry about uh, tremendously because I want to completely understand what the question is. I need to understand. I want to understand the assignments and I want to understand that I'm going to complete them in a timely manner because that's what I've had to do all my life. Show up for work and do your job kind of thing. So that's what you have to do. I do have a part-time job at local community college teaching welding. Um, which is something that I hope to bring to the table to the students that I'll be teaching in the future. Um, I do like to volunteer. I uh, have volunteered uh, uh, with the <coughs> VON, uh, driving elderly people to doctor's appointments and things like that. Uh, a lecture night out at the, uh, the school. I went out there to see how technology applies to what they do to help young students learn to read and write. Um, to qualify them to go to high school. Uh, that was very interesting for me, personally. But behind the scenes, and unknown to the teacher candidates, the faculty is already moving on. It's the evening when teachers from local school boards come in to read and rate the application forms for next year's teacher making. Applications have already been culled, and those who don't have the necessary qualifications or who have grades below the acceptable level have been eliminated. The teachers rate the prospective students' profiles on why they want to be teachers, and judging if their life experiences qualify them to be teachers. Outside, the cold rain falls.